The Real Estate Revolution Radio Show is designed to educate Missoula homeowners and home buyers how to navigate the uncharted waters of the current Western Montana real estate market in an educational, often edgy, and high energy fashion with host Jason Baker. Jason will teach you all the secrets on how to win with real estate, from listing your property to purchasing investments. Jason has you covered. Be sure to check the home of the week, the good news, and current market updates each week. Jason is revolutionizing the real estate experience for over 100 clients a year. It's Real Estate Revolution Radio with Jason Baker. And Jason, happy Sunday to you, my friend. We got a big show today. You know, it's it's amazing the the talent that you know when you start posting your face personally around on social media. Are you media. talking about oh, my yeah, face? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, people oh, no, just are no, calling, no, going, no. I, "I just gotta be <laughs> on 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 Real Estate Revolution." Does it have anything to do with Jason? <laughs> yeah, you know? that's true. No, it, it's a big show. We've got my uh, like uh, for the the uh, people just tuning in or that haven't listened to the show before. First of all, thanks for being here. Yeah, yeah I Sunday Monday. I know it is. It's a it's chill. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, it's half decent. I don't. Can, can you tell if people like click off? Halfway through, as you tell. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, we we gotta like if, over the next uh, you know little bit. Um, we're just waiting for my buddy Cody. So I belong. I, I own my own real estate brokerage. It's called Arise Real Estate, and I run my brokerage as a team. Mm-hmm. And what I've come to realize over the last you know I've been doing this now for I guess eight and a half years is that clients deserve more. And when I say that, you know it's it's. All too often we see, you know, you know, when it comes to selling or come to buying, very little communication, very little, uh, I don't know. I mean, you're paying a reasonable fee service when you go to list your house. And so you should mm-hmm. demand more is what I always say. Get what you pay for. You should. And yeah. you should get more than what you pay for, mm-hmm. both in net value and also in communication and service. And so we started operating our brokerage as a team. In other words, um, you know, uh, we provide the leads, we provide the administrative staff so that our agents and also myself can focus on the real estate rather than the adminning of the file. Because while you're adminning, there's no way you can be out showing your listings and there's no way you can be out finding listings for the list of buyers that want certain homes. Too busy pushing the pencil. And we had it, uh, you know, a few days ago, three or four days ago, we had our administrative day and, and we can't, you know, thank our four admins enough. I mean, without them, we would be quite frankly, nothing. Mm-hmm. I mean, because we would be virtually doing um, all the all, ever important busy work all day long, we would not be able to sell our clients property or help our amazing buyers find homes. And so uh, the team aspect allows us to all focus on the one thing, which is our client and also give them a great experience. Because I'm I, if I'm not good at paperwork, then my admin is. Does that make sense? Right. And so that's how we run everything. And so, um, but nationally, we wanted to be able to find uh, more ways to um, you know provide a better experience, and so we joined a group called PlaySync, which has just been uh, uh, the value. It's my friend Ben Kinney. Uh, he started this place thing um, with a few teams. I think we were in the top 25 or 30 teams nationwide in this, but now there's a, almost 150 teams. What is it exactly? And so Place Inc. is a tech platform, a training platform, a uh-huh. coaching platform, and it bolts onto my brokerage to, for the sole reason is we want to be a one-stop shop. We want to be a mortgage company, a title company, insurance company, uh, uh, a home warranty company. We want to be the, like, nobody needs to go outside of our brokerage or our app for anything home over the next few years. Cool. And that's how I met our guest today. His name's Cody. Cummings. He is the star, one of the stars of the show, Flipping Down South, that airs on, on A&E. A&E yeah. yeah, and it's my latest uh, binge. It's yeah. great when you, you know, and so I was fortunate enough, I was in Scottsdale a few weeks ago down for a place conference and also for a, uh, something called Built How. I'm always trying to improve my mindset and also to figure out how I can serve my clients better because they're all I really care. If I lay awake at night, it's because I'm thinking about how I could better serve my clients <laughs> and try to come up with a system, right, for that. That's all I care about. Um, and so I was able to listen to him speak about how to invest in properties, him and his partner, Paul, and he's going to be kind enough to be on our show uh, later today. It's a great show. It's a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah. It's, it's I've crazy. never flipped. I've never, I've never considered flipping. Yeah. I know that that sometimes those shows make it look easy. Yes. Uh, but it definitely is not. It, it, it's not. We, My wife and I uh, flipped a house last year, and it is a, a real nerve-wracking process. Because, of course, in Missoula, you're not going to buy anything for, you know, for inexpensively, even a flip right. a house that's in disrepair. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to pay a mint for it even then. But you have to figure out, if you've never done it before, how much are all these things going to cost? And then at the end of that, after, you know, commissions and, and, and title fees and all these other things, what will the actual profit be? Well, depending on what time of year you place it on the market, depending depending on what the market's doing, you know, depending on whether you made the right choice. And you never know you made the right decisions throughout the whole entire process until, I guess, it closes and right. you can see what you walked away with. Yeah. Well, one of the strangest things was 
while I was at this thing a couple weeks ago in Scottsdale, I found out that I shouldn't have sold that house and I actually should have kept it and used it it. as a rental. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's a lot of tax advantages to doing that. And especially one called accelerated depreciation. Now I'm not a tax consultant. That's just, yeah. For one hour, I listened (laughs) to the mistake I made, but you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, that would have been amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you know, it's that time of year where you have to always write that, you know, that wonderful check. Um, And then real quick, before we, you know, I don't know how much more time we have in this segment because you're the one that keeps track of that so wonderfully, (laughs) which I appreciate because otherwise I would, it'd be like a 12 hour show because I'm going to shut up, right? Right. I got a call from uh, someone the other day and I just want to kind of clear the air. He said, Jason, you do, you know, you're everywhere, you this, you're on, you know, constantly on the radio and you're constantly there. And I don't say that in an egotistical kind of way. He's like, are you actually, when I want to sell my house, the person who we meet with and who we work with? Right. The answer is yes. Yeah. I actually not am Santa a human. Claus. I'm yeah, not yeah. Santa Claus. I'm not a droid. <laughs> I'm a, you know, I, I bleed, you know, right. I, I, you know, I sweat, you know, like these kinds of things. Like I'm a, I'm a human being and I love, you know, one of the greatest blessings of my life and is, is to meet new people mm-hmm. and, you know, hopefully, you know, make them laugh a little bit while we're there. And, and just, I'm just a dude, you know, right. I'm just, you know, trying to, trying to help people. Uh, you know, in their journey of, of wealth. Yeah. yeah. So I just, I, I wanted to say that because I was like, I'm like, who do they, I mean, like, I'm just like, I'm like, I'm just like, I, you know, I, I can see that being one of your promotional t- t-shirts yeah. though, is a Santa Claus of real estate. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> side profile probably <laughs> looks kind of the same. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Uh, well, so, we do have our friend Cody, who's going to be joining us yeah. once again, Cody from Flipping Down, Down South on yes. A&E. Uh, what, what kind of things do you think we're going to be asking Cody today? Well, I want to know more, but for, you know, for, I always, again, this is an educational show and I want to find out like, for, if you're just thinking about getting into flipping some of the do's, some of the don'ts, mm-hmm. how to find funding, um, what kind of things people are looking for and, you know, uh, like what's popular, like, is it a three bedroom, one bath or a four bedroom, two bath or a three, two or whatever it is, because, and then do we, do we flip them all? Should we keep some of them? Like the mistake that I made, you know, I'm susceptible. Um, you know, I, I was unaware of that tax, uh, rule and I am aware of it now. And you know, the only way to get aware of something is to mess it up. Right. And also, you know, a little life hack here, the more you mess up, the more you're learning. Right. I don't say go out and intentionally screw something up. No. But the more you fail forward is something is, is kind of a, you know, uh, something that I, I listen to every day. If you're not failing, you're not learning, you're not moving forward. Yeah. What is it? What is it? Uh, fa- fail to do, but don't fail to don't or something. Um, <laughs> it's exactly how I would have put Wait, it. I got, yeah. it. I got it. No, here it is. <laughs> try and fail, but don't fail to try. That's exactly that's right. That's now, I like that sounded way smoother. That was see, I, here's <laughs> the thing. See, the first time you failed, the second time you know that I you learned. It. I nailed see, it. this was a, you see, you did that on purpose. So learning experience. You are, I'm telling you, you're, 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 you're so, you're light years ahead. Right. Yes. All right. Well, we're going to get Cody on the line real quick. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back with Cody from Flipping Down South on A&E right after this. If you're listening to Real Estate Revolution. Radio with Jason Baker. Hey, if you are in the market to make the most money for your home, Sean Hannity here with some important advice. Now, look, I'm an active investor. I have bought and sold a lot of properties in hot, cold, moderate markets. And one of the lessons I have learned is this. Hire the agent that knows how to create the most demand for your home. Now, if I needed to create demand in this market, no question, there's only one real estate agent I trust if I needed to sell my home. I'm talking about Jason Baker of Rise Realty, Montana. Now, Jason can give you an instant cash offer or with his accelerated demand program, well, he turns up the marketing and gets you the most money for your home. While the average agent sells a home or two every month and only spends a couple of hundred bucks on marketing a year, Jason spends thousands of dollars every month to attract thousands of buyers. Now, that helps you generate multiple offers and sell your home for the most money possible. Now, anyone can give you a home evaluation. Call the agent that creates the most demand. Call Jason at 552-4443. Online, jasonbakerteam.com. That's jasonbakerteam.com. From listing your property to purchasing investments, Jason Baker has got you covered. Time for more of the Real Estate Revolution Show. Welcome back to Real Estate Revolution Radio with Jason Baker. And Jason, we were nice enough to somehow, I don't know how, uh, he agreed to come back on after how you treated him. (laughs) But uh, we got got Cody from Flipping Down South on A&E on the phone with us. And uh, we got some more questions for you, Cody, especially when it comes to, you know, doing what you do so well. Yeah, uh, uh, Cody, thanks for being back on. You know, what? what uh, how I got him back on. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, in case I mean, he was. I said, I'm not I'm not going to make any more Southern jokes. You keep making those Southern Flatlander jokes. Yeah, and- <laughs> I'm just not going to do it. Like, yeah. you know, like everyone's related. And, you know, all the stuff I said last week for those just tuning in. So, uh, Cody, uh, you know, again, we're just kind of tuning in. And uh, Cody has this amazing show on A&E called Flipping Down South. And it's like, my, my 
my wife and I about binge watching the show, and I'm like, God, where, where's that next episode coming from? You know, and, <laughs> I and, can't wait a whole uh, week. <laughs> I know it's like it's like unbelievable. So total fanboy over here, and then um, also uh, Cody is a, a business partner of mine down in Alabama, and uh, through our Place Network, which we're fortunate enough to have yeah. his expertise there. And if there's anything I can ever do for you up little old Montana up here, uh, other than have you up here to come hunt, you just just let me know, brother, or train your agents Heck or whatever yeah, else. Yeah, man, I'd love to love to help with that, uh, reciprocate. But last week we were talking a little bit about finding the deal. And I know that you had said, you know, it, there's a typical way, which is like, oh, the agent, you know, you know, it, you know, these MLS feeds that come out or they're looking on Zillow or they're looking mm-hmm. on, you know, all of our agent websites and the agents are sending you all those deals. But is it almost too late at that point? You said there was a better source. Why don't, why don't you cover that again a little bit more in depth now that we have more time? Well, I think, so yeah, great question. Uh, I, I, I think about it sort of in this way. So when I started selling real estate, um, I didn't know anything about real estate. I got licensed and figured it out, you know. So yeah. I was, uh, I was, uh, I was really fortunate through my first full year to sell uh, a whole bunch of houses, way more than what people expected, uh, which was cool. And then I had a bunch of clients. So then I found myself getting contacted by a lot of investors, like, "Hey, help me find properties," you know. And, yeah. and I just couldn't, I couldn't find any properties, and I didn't understand like where are people getting these, uh, these, these, these investment deals. And, uh, and 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 later on, what I learned is that there's actually a market underneath the primary market, and that's why they call it the primary market. That's happening, right? So prim- the primary market is people buying and selling their primary residence where they live. The, se- the secondary market, or I think about it as being the market under the market, is where investment deals are, tra- change, are trading hands mm-hmm. um, between investors a lot of times. So there are, uh, th- there's, there's a whole sort of business that lives in that market called wholesaling. And there's a lot of there's, there's a lot of discussion around this these days, uh, because and because wholesalers basically build businesses around sourcing deals for investors, and then they sell sell those deals to them at a markup. That's yeah. kind of the short of it. Now, if if you want to if you want to find great deals yourself, like let's just say you're trying to you're you're trying to buy your first your first investment property, or you're trying to build a, a small portfolio. Well, in, it's my opinion that the best way to do that. Is to ride around town. We call it driving for dollars. Yeah. Ride around town in a neighborhood that you want to buy in. Find a house that looks un, un, unattended to. Maybe there's maybe there's mail in the in the mailbox. Maybe the the, the backyard is is grown up. It, it looks like it's in not great shape. Yellow you think police yourself, tape, Cody. Great, <laughs> uh, yellow, yellow police tape is always a great sign. Gotta go. Sorry, uh, I didn't interrupt and, you, brother. And, yeah. So, so yeah. So, uh, so I, I think if you can ride around and just just find a house that looks like it needs some repair, right? Yeah. And 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 what you do then is tr- is track that person down. And there's there's a whole bunch of tools to help you help you do that. And I, I I'm happy to to discuss that in more detail, but I don't want to bore people either. Yeah. Uh, so that's the short of it. So so driving around and just and looking, yeah. And the, we were talking about last week. And again, everybody, we've got we've got uh, Cody from Flipping Down South. That is a show on A and E here. If you just tuned in, and uh, driving around, just we're talking about how to find you know how to find investment deals on the secondary market, which is basically called the driving for dollars. There, just dr- drive like around. That. And I like that phrase. I, I like that. Yeah. Now, we'll now we drive around. Made. We scout for deer, turkeys, and ducks yeah. and geese. And <laughs> yeah, so while guy. we're do, while we're doing that, <laughs> you know, we duck. can also <laughs> driving like, for ducks. Yeah, yeah. We're dri- yeah, driving for ducks. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but we could we could add this in, you know. And then then it could be an actual write off, right? That's a great idea. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, you know what jackpot. happens too is that if you do this enough times, it just becomes habitual. So yeah. you just do it everywhere you go. Yeah. And think about how how much time you spend driving in general. You know. So if you're just paying attention to what's going on around you, I find myself all the time just snapping pictures yeah. of properties, and then we'll just review those every now and then and yeah. say, hey, look, I took these bunch of pictures. How do you Let's get away with doing that? On the properties and that sort of. Thing. How do you do that without looking like a private investigator, though? <laughs> Dude, well, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of that, bro. I want to put them on the toes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, the only, negotiations later on. The, the only people that are going to see the ghosts inside the house is that that we're buying. So, all right. So, so we got. So we find the house, or we we, we have a prospect. We contact the seller uh, or the owner of the property. May not be a Correct. seller. May not even be thinking about doing it. May have forgot they actually own something up there because it doesn't look yeah. like they've done anything there for a while. Exactly. So, so you walk. Uh, so when you when you identify a house, I heard uh, Paul say something uh, uh, on stage. I believe it was Paul. He said. Um, a, a buy box, like like things that you mm-hmm. use to determine, like you know, it, to see Correct. if it fits your parameters. Can you talk more about that? Yeah, so this is actually really important because there's there's a million different kinds of ways to invest in real estate, and and for you as an as a, as an individual investor, it's really important to get clear on on what a good deal looks like for you because that's different for different people. Mm-hmm. So so when we talk about a buy box, 
that's what, exactly what it is that we're talking about, which is, hey, what are your criteria? You know, what price ranges, what square footage, bed, bath, uh, are there specific return rates that you're looking for? Uh, are there different classes of, of properties, A class, B class, is, are th- that you're looking to, to purchase? And so I think, I think getting really clear on what it is that you're looking to purchase helps you sift through all of the, all of the, 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 the properties that, you're not, that you don't want to buy. Yeah. And if you don't have a clear buy box, then all of a sudden you're going to buy everything, and that's going to go really poorly, and I can tell you that from experience. Yeah, exactly. And, and I, one thing that stuck out for me is you buy stuff uh, post-World War II. Is that what I heard? Yeah, mid-century, uh, especially we've got a couple neighborhoods that work here in Birmingham a lot. And, uh, and, and the best part about those World War II homes is that a lot of the, a lot of the workers were gone to war, right? Yeah. So, so the houses that they built at, during that time tend to be really simple. They're mm-hmm. like boxes. Yeah. You know, so the renovations on those tend to be really, really straightforward relative to you know, more modern homes where there's twists and turns and, and, and there's more square footage to deal with. So, yeah. That's yeah. Idea. No, yeah, that was awesome. So so setting some parameters and, and the reason for that is it's it, it kind of sounds to me like financial discipline. You know, have what yeah. you'll deal with, you find your niche if you will and, and stick to that because uh, you know, you start going in too many different directions and it could it could get all over the place. And you know, sometimes a couple hundred, two, three, four hundred thousand dollars out there, mm-hmm. um, you know, uh, you, you know, you could you know, you don't want to be I mean, the, the object here is to is to profit, to make you know, money. not to lose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, I like now, to make money, not lose yeah. money. All not right. <laughs> Every, everybody always, you know, everybody always loves to talk about, uh, and, and everybody. We're here with with uh, uh, Cody from Flipping Down South. Now, listen, um, have you ever lost money on a flip? Oh, Lord, yes, <laughs> absolutely. That's a big heck if, yeah. If you want if, if if you want if you want to flip houses, yeah, you better be prepared for that, especially early in your career, yeah. because you pay for your you pay for your education, right? So that's kind of how we think of how we thought about it early. Is that hey, you know, we know we can make money doing this. But you can't be afraid to lose money right. if you're going to try to do something that you've never done. I mean, just definitionally, it doesn't make any sense. So, yeah, absolutely. I mean, not a bunch, and, and we've certainly made more than we've lost. Sure. Um, but, but, uh, but, yeah, absolutely, we've lost before. Yeah, and that, so so there is a there is a you know, and, and we want everybody to know. I mean, it, it's it's a everybody wants to go flip a house. You know, it's like you hear it so many times. Are you starting to consider? So, are you starting to consider? Uh, holding more that would you say you flip more than you hold right now and are you thinking about maybe changing that up or kind of mixing it up a bit yeah well i I think that um i would say right now we're probably running at like 70 percent flips and 30 percent holds good for you um but 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 i'm certainly over time looking to transform that uh so that we flip those ratios because because you never flip a house that you wish you wouldn't have held later on. Right, right. Uh, and, and, the, and, the only, and the only reason you flip it is because you need the cash to do something else, or else why would you flip it? Because, yeah. you know, there's not a lot of asset classes that you're going to get better returns on uh, over the duration of your career than real estate. So uh, I, I'm starting to think, we call our flipping business Flip Apollo and our sales team the Apollo Property Group. And, uh, and we, we, we have, I've started to try to conceptualize Flip Apollo more as an asset creation company than a flipping company. Um, so yeah, that's a really great question because because it's the holding it's the holding that generates the wealth. You know, yeah. Warren Buffett says that everybody wants to get fast, uh, so they get get rich fast, but nobody wants to get rich slow. And I'm I'm a fan of just getting rich over time. Yeah. So, so holding <laughs> the back. You know? Now 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 I think me me, me and Casey we're, we're flipping these notes back and forth right here. We just wanted to know if you ask if you were adopting. Yeah right. Yeah, we're ready to be adopted. <laughs> well, take, me, married, take me under your wing. We'll see. <laughs> That's we'll right. See. We'll, That's see. Right. we'll yeah. see how things go. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little taller than you are. I might not look like you, baby, but that's all right. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure. Now, it, it, so one of the common questions I get up here, I don't know about you down there, but so say someone says, uh, you know, man, I want, I want to get into this or um, what kind of, uh, it, it, like for financing reasons, like is there some secondary financing or some hard money? Like if a guy, you know, was, was doing this for the first time, you know, uh, didn't have, you know, a couple million dollars sitting there in his, his bank account and guy or gal wanted to go out there and, and buy something. What are some of the ways that you can reach out to some of these, uh, you know, uh, uh, lenders in order to get something like this uh, financed? You know, that's a great question. And I would say, even if you did have a couple million bucks, still, this is something that you should do. Mm-hmm. Uh, because if you can, if you can use other people's money, you can do more. Right. Um, so, so, but, but the, honestly, the shortest, the shortest answer to that is relationship. Yeah. You know, like we always talk about how, you know, the relate your relationship with other people, that's the real asset yeah. and everything else is secondary. Uh, so if you don't know anybody in real estate, 
maybe that's the first place to start. You know, like if you're if you're out there in uh, in, in in Montana and thinking, man, I'd really love to get into real estate. Maybe you just call Jason. You know, and say, hey, help me help help me into this uh, help me into this industry. Uh, but a great way to do that for investments, I, I find that there are investment masterminds everywhere, mm-hmm. and I bet you there's one close to you. And that's where you start because that's where these people that lend money, it's called hard money. Yeah. That's the idea. Um, but especially if you're not bankable enough to have bank lines, which are definitely far superior to hard money, um, a good a good way to, to, to find that is just to go into these rooms and network and ask that question. Hey, are there any, are there any hard money lenders here that I can be introduced to? And I bet there are. Yeah. And they're always looking for other people to lend to. Yeah. So uh, that would be my advice. I do that all the time. It has nothing to do with real estate. I just walk in the room and say, hey, anybody want to give me money? Yeah, yeah, that, that, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Yeah. Anyone yeah. here? Yeah, I know. I, I, I walk into sporting stores around here and ask if they give me free duck decoys. Yeah. And, you yeah, know, they're always looking like, at me funny. Give me something. <laughs> yeah. Let's speak of the manager. Uh, the, one, one, thing I, one, one thing I will say to the audience uh, as well is I'm always looking to, uh, to invest. Um, you know, i got to get Sarah's permission because they, you know, they say divorce is super expensive. They say they are. Yeah, they yeah. do. Yeah. So, Everything so, I've heard about it. Yeah, so, <laughs> there ain't anything pretty about it. But <laughs> but the thing is, Sarah's my wife, everybody. And so, um, you know, if there's a deal that, that you want to run across my desk, I'd be happy to look at it and could potentially be, uh, you know, partner with you on something like that. Mm-hmm. And I mean that. You know, in earnest, you know, if it makes sense, uh, it's something that where they could come and talk to me about that. And we're always looking to, to help people out if it makes sense to us. So don't be afraid to call you know, me. There. You know, yeah. Jason, you just, you just said something that's really important in our world, right? Partnership. Yeah. yeah. Uh, p- partnership is uh, is the pathway that's to, right. to, to, to any sort of success. And But, but I think you need to be asking yourself, uh, Mr. Listener out there that's thinking about being a real estate investor, what do you bring to the partnership? Right. What are you? What are, what are because we we do we do JV deals uh, uh, all the time where where we partner with people and they do part of something or, or we do part of something and like we have we have a, a handful of partners where we'll go where where they'll bring us a deal they'll buy it they'll pay for the rehab and we design it renovate it and sell it yeah. and we go fifty percent on the on the on the profitability and and the reason is because we know what we're bringing to the table yep. we can source the deals we can design it we can renovate it and we can sell it. So if you've got money and you don't know how to do any of those things, all of a sudden that's a great opportunity, you know. So I think I think a, a really important piece here is like you need to do some self reflecting and say, hey, what am I going to? Am I bringing money? Am I a contractor? Am I do I have a great offer? Does not, you know, like what am I bringing to the table yeah. to offer this other partner, especially if they're already doing deals. Because they're already doing deals, they don't really need you. So you better come. You better come with some value. And he practices what he preaches because you know one of the first things that you said was, "Yeah, I know a lot about real estate. I'm a, I have a successful real estate business." This is Cody, and uh, he said, "But you know, uh, but I, got, I met this other guy, Paul, is just hustling on the street. You know, maybe doing a little bit more wholesaling or whatever else." And they they, they got to because because you can do one thing in life. You can try to do you know be a lone wolf and go do everything mm-hmm. on your own. But there is, but when these two teamed up, the and maybe you could touch on that. That dynamic, yeah. I mean, is just it's it's. So it, they're hilarious. Yeah. You guys are like, <laughs> well, <laughs> you guys crack well, me up all day. Well, I, this is something that I'm actually really passionate about yeah. because strategic partnership has really changed my life. You know, yeah. through 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 this partnership with Paul, through the partnership that we've had with the administrative staff on the team, yeah. through the partnerships that we've had on the agents uh, that, that are that are on the team, but but also just the partnership with Place and this and this yeah. network it, because partnership is it does a whole bunch of things. Like it 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 it, it, it allows you to offset your weaknesses, which is, which is really important. But I think the biggest thing that partnership does when you partner with the right people is it opens whole new worlds of information to you that you did not have prior. And meeting people in this place world, especially yeah. that are just making way more money than me, yep. um, you, you meet those people and people that are making money that a very small percentage of people ever make. And what you realize is that, is that they just have information that you don't have. Because in, because behavior follows information. That's right. So so if you if you can get into a relationship with people that have way more information than you, even if it splits the pie, you know people yeah. are like, oh, equity, equity, equity. Well, guess what, dude? Hundred percent of a hundred thousand dollars is way worse than fifty percent of five million dollars. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm, you know? I'm going with Dom, I'm going with B right there, brother. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Which is exactly. which is why sometimes I mean, if we're honest, you know, the the fight that we fight in, in explaining a real estate team to some agents who are used to the brokerage yeah. model, yeah. sometimes why it just doesn't it they, they don't it, it, they're, they're sometimes not picking up what we're putting down. But at the end of the day, if if, if it, it's really what you take home to mama, isn't it? All I'm saying is, hey, you're a single agent. You made sixty grand last year. That's cool. But our agents just made two hundred. Yeah. So 
and and let us do all that and let us all yeah let us do all the back end and let us you know provide the leads and everything like that yeah it's crazy we're gonna um casey why don't you bring us up we're gonna we're gonna come back and we get a we get a little bit more time with cody after this break and uh, we'll forego the house of the week this week just so we can spend a few more minutes with our brother here uh but go ahead and lead us into the commercial yeah yeah let's take a quick commercial break be back with more jason baker real estate revolution radio right after this Hey, your friend Sean Hannity here with some personal advice for home sellers. Now, there are various companies or agents that will offer to give you cash up front for your home, but be careful. Now, often there are dramatically lower prices or hidden fees that the average person can miss, and that can cost you a lot of money. That's why I prefer to work with a great, smart real estate agent that truly knows the local market and can give me the best advice and put the most money in my pocket. I'm talking about Jason Baker of Rise Realty, Montana. Now, Jason can give you an instant cash offer or with his accelerated demand program, well, he turns up the marketing and gets you the most money for your home. But more importantly, he can help you look at all the options with hundreds of potential buyers, and that creates demand for your home and helps your home sell at a price and deadline that you agree to or he buys it. Don't leave money on the table. Talk to the only agent in town I recommend. Call Jason at 552-4443, online jasonbakerteam.com. That's jasonbakerteam.com. From listing your property to purchasing investments, Jason Baker has got you covered. Time for more of the Real Estate Revolution Show. And we're back with Real Estate Revolution Radio with Jason Baker. We've got our special guest on the phone, Cody from Flipping Down South on A&E. Jason, we've got a few more questions for Cody before we let him go. I know he's got a call. Yeah, I know he's got a call real quick. A call I should probably be on, too, but don't be tattletailing on me now. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear anything. You know, I know. Yeah, I know. So what are you seeing? Like, um, I, I, what are some of the things that, that you're finding that uh, buyers are in your market are really wanting inside the houses? You know, like a second bathroom. You know, I know you guys are doing adding those in a lot. What are some of the what are some of the, the popular things out there right now, brother? Dude, I'll tell you one thing, man. I just love three twos, three bedrooms, two baths. Yeah. And uh, if yeah. we can find if we can find a three bedroom, one bath, and add a bathroom, hell yeah. You know, yeah. if we can, but if, if if we if we can find a two two, a two bedroom, two bath, and add a bedroom, yeah. Um, so th- those are those are just kind of layups. And, and as a rule, um, your money typically is spent in the kitchen and the bathrooms. Yeah. So so if you so because that's where people spend the most of their time, you know. So so if you can give people awesome kitchens and bathrooms, then you're going to do really well in the resale. Yeah, and that, and that's um and then how do you come up with? I'm always wondering like how do you like so you you, you do your initial walkthrough. I mean, do you guys bring inspectors out there, or how do you like come up with your like all right, this thing's going to cost me 75 G's to to to, to, to rehab this thing. Mm, that comes down a lot. Honestly, we were you know. On our earlier segment, we were talking about the power of partnership. Yeah. That's how, that comes a lot down to Paul. Like yeah. He'll walk these things, and he just kind of has general parameters for the different kinds of repairs. Right. So he'll vision. walk it, and our, and our office, our, our, our offers are, are very often based on his estimate. Okay. Uh, and, and he's definitely missed on that in the past, but, but usually that's not the case. Yeah. Uh, the, the couple of things that are well, actually – the one thing that's actually really important to me prior to buying is having a structural report for homes that, that, that need foundation repairs, yeah. because that can really, really become a problem if you buy a house that needs more foundation repairs than you think. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's the stuff that uh, that can really like. It's funny. Like we, are made up, yeah, not, yeah. I know that's the, that's the one thing that that we need to do. Well, you know, Cody, I got to tell you, um, I know that our listeners are so grateful for you. Um, I hope uh, I hope you have the best. Uh, rest of your week. I hope you have the best rest of your year. I'm praying blessings down upon your uh, uh, listing business and your real estate brokerage, as well as your flip houses and your flipping business and your holding business. And uh, I just wish you the best of luck for the rest of the year and and uh, in abundance as well. And I I can't tell you again um, how I look forward to spending more time with you. And if, again, there's anything I can ever do for you, uh, please just reach out, and I'll expect you to be up here soon shooting something. Yeah. 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 And we encourage you. Yeah. Hey, encourage such, a, such a pleasure to be here, man. Yeah, I brother. You thank you so much. Yeah. We're going to encourage everybody to go check out Flipping Down South on A&E with yeah. Cody. See Cody and Paul at work. Yeah, man. It's, yeah. it's yeah. good, man. Hey, and also, also come see us on social medias. You know, I, Paul, I, Paul, Paul, his handle is Houses by Paul, and, and mine is just my full name, Cody J. Cummings. Uh, so come see us, you know, like let's, let's all connect. Yeah. Right? And like yeah. I said, their hair is way sexier than mine. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thanks again, Cody. And once again, if you missed any of our shows or you want to go back and listen to this show, you can check out all of our Real Estate Revolution radio shows on demand at newstalkkgbo.com. As always, Jason, Cody, thank you so much. 
We'll see you next week. Thanks, Thank you, guys. Take care.